Well, we're speaking with uh, Guri Weinberg, uh, the uh, son of uh, the late Moshe Weinberg, one of the uh, martyred Munich 11 Israeli athletes uh, who were killed 40 years ago. Um, we've spoken before, Guri. Last night, uh, Ali Reisman uh, brought her, uh, her family, her country, the United States, and the Jewish people a tremendous glory by winning uh, a gold medal. Um, I don't know if you caught the press conference afterwards, but uh, she specifically spoke about uh, the failure of the IOC to have a moment of silence, and she said how proud she would have been to participate in it. Do you have a message for Ali that you want to use uh, YouTube to trans transmit to her? Well, I, I, first of all, I'd like to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, she's a, a young woman who... Uh, is very courageous and um, a very proud Jew, and you don't find that a lot, you know. In, in that age, you, you, they tend to worry about other things. So it, it says a lot about her as a young woman, and um, I, I you, to have that kind of support um, from such a young generation that have not learned about most of that generation don't doesn't know about the Munich massacre. So for her to be so knowledgeable and stand up to the IOC, who doesn't have the courage, um, especially the people that work there like Alex Giladi, who's an Israeli Jew, who has sacrificed doing the right thing for greed, um, she's got a lot to teach, not only them, but the rest of the world about what's right. Uh, can you uh, uh, reflect on some of the other uh, gestures of the people who did get it right? Uh, I know there was at least one uh, Olympic team uh, that went to the Israelis and some uh, very unique uh, memorials uh, or gestures that took place. Tell us about them. It, it, this year has been quite a spectacular year for us when it came uh, to support. Um, it, it's something that I've never seen before. And I'm grateful for that. The Italian uh, uh, Olympic team has gone out of their way to show their respect and support to these 11 Israeli athletes who were murdered. Um, they went and they did a moment of silence in front of the uh, Olympic, t uh, the Israeli Olympic team's uh, um, quarters. It, it, it was such a, a beautiful show of respect from athletes to athletes. It was not about Jews, it was not about Israelis, it was that community of athletes that came together and said, we are a team, we are a community, we care about each other, we all sacrifice, and this is not right. And from my heart to them, thank you. But And there's also been more, there's been a story about um, a Virgin Airline pilot and his crew that flew over Germany and have um, over the intercom has announced that they were going to hold a moment of silence for the 11 athletes who were murdered in, in Munich in remembrance. And uh, to have that kind of support and that kind of respect shown after 40 years is, is touching beyond words. Um, I, I, I'm so thankful to all of them. I'm so thankful to countries like Germany and Italy and, and the U.S. and Australia. And there's many more that, you know, uh, to list that, uh, you know, they're really teaching the young generation of what happened. So this is not forgotten. Guri, let me ask you one last question, and it's, uh, it's a difficult one. Um, there are, uh, I'm sure, tens of millions of young people in the Arab and Muslim world who've been watching the Olympic Games who've been uh, jumping off of their seats just uh, like yourself and the rest of us to see the moments of great uh, personal and team triumph for, for sports figures. Um, what they hear back in their home uh, countries is that this whole business of uh, moment of silence or the memorial is completely political. Uh, and because, unfortunately, so many of them see the state of Israel as an enemy um, they don't get it. This is your chance to try to maybe reach out directly to young people uh, in the Arab and Muslim world. Could you try to put this for them as a, a son, uh, a young man who never knew his father? Um, send a message to the young people in the Arab and Muslim world. What, do, what would you want them to understand from all of this? Well, um, this is very tough to, to, to try to reach out to them 
because they are, you know, taught to um, dislike and hate not only Israelis but Jews, um, just like what they do with their athletes. Um, you see, what happened with the Lebanese athletes when they wanted a curtain put up between them and the Israelis, you know, unfortunately, I don't blame the athletes for it because they're forced to do that because if they stand up for what's right, I do believe that they will be punished when they go back home. I, 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 first of all, I'd like to say to the Arab athletes uh, and the Muslim athletes that I, I, I don't hold that against them. I understand the position that they're in and that they're put in a position where if they do stand up for the right thing, they could suffer back home. So my love for them as Olympians goes out to them. I love them. I understand that they are not in a position to stand up for the, for the right thing. Regarding the younger people in Arab nations, I really do hope that they see terrorism as what it is, as a bad thing, and not a help to their cause. Uh, because, unfortunately, the terrorists are attacking them as well. And um, it is such a complicated, um, horrific thing when it comes to terrorism that they like to play both sides, but they also like to kill both sides. And I hope that one day that they will wake up and understand that terrorism is not only good for the, for the world, but not good for them as well. Gary Weinberg, great to see you again. And uh, we know we're going to hear great things from you in the, in the future. God bless. Thank you, Rabbi. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.